Seahawks hosting the Cardinals, and the Seahawks are eight and a half point favorites. The over under is at 44 and a half. The Cardinals are plus 340 on the money line, and the Seahawks are minus 430. The only thing that's really been moving it has been the point spread. Now, these are the pre kickoff lines. They're going to change the closer we get to kickoff tomorrow. Thank you for everyone who has joined the Discord and who continues to join the Discord. If you've not done so yet, go to my website, rawsportstalk.com. It is a paid membership, but it will give you access to my best bets. Win, lose, or draw, you will see how I do. Now, the Cardinals are 1-5 overall. They're 3-3 three and three against the spread, and the over is 4-2 and two in the last uh, six games that they've played. The Seahawks are 3-2, three 3-2 and two, three and two against the spread, and the under is 3-2. and two. And Geno Smith looked atrocious last week against the Bengals and I don't care what anyone says I don't know when the last time I remember seeing him throw that many passes off of his back foot it almost looked like he was back on the Jets with no offensive line like just lofting crap up there now head to head the Seahawks are on a three game winning streak they are seven and three against the Cardinals in their last 10 the road team is six and four the underdog has covered the underdog is on a four game winning streak so they've won and covered the last four games that they played against each other the underdog is 8-2 and two against the spread and 6-4 and four on the money line. The under is 6-4 and four in their last 10. And the over-under at 44.5 is 5-5. Five and five. The Seahawks won the last game in Arizona, 31-21. They won the game before that, 19-9. They won the game before that, 38-30. And the game before that, the Cardinals won 23-13. The Cardinals are 1-9 and nine in their last 10, 5-5 five five against the spread. And the over is 6-4 and four in their last 10. They've lost, obviously, and they have not covered their last three games. But uh, four out of their last five games have gone over. For the Seahawks, they are five and five. They are four and six against the spread, and the under is seven and three. They've won and covered three out of the last four games. They played the Bengals game last week. They didn't cover, and they, like I said, they looked atrocious. And the last two games that they played have gone under. Now, when these teams generally play each other, we had 52 points, then we had 28 points, then we had 68 points. So it seems like they alternate games where. They put up a bunch of points. I do think that this is going to be another one of those games, though, where there's a bunch of points scored, be it late or be it early. I'm going to take the Seahawks with the money line. I'll take the Seahawks laying the points, and I'm going over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.